Yo, what is up guys? So in today's YouTube video, we're doing another IRL video. And today, we are testing TikTok life hacks to see if they work. So, some of these could be absolutely epic, and some of these could be fails. So make sure you stick around and watch to the end of the video. But quickly before getting into the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We are on the road to 50 subscribers once we hit up doing the room tour. And if you share the channel and get somebody to subscribe, I'll give you a shout out. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first TikTok life hack is apparently there's a trick to solve a Rubik's Cube. I don't think this is real, but we're going to try it anyway. Roll the clip. So you can solve any Rubik's Cube starting in any position using just two moves. And you're just going to repeat these moves over and over again. You're going to turn the left side counterclockwise, and then you're going to turn the top clockwise. So it looks like this. And you're just going to keep on repeating this sequence over and over again and eventually the cube will start to sort of solve itself. If that works, you know, we just have to go like, like this. We just keep going like this and wait for a Rubik's cube to solve itself. So I'm gonna do a quick little time lapse. So it's gonna go really, really fast, two times speed to see if this gets me anywhere. So guys, it's been like two minutes I've been doing this. Obviously it was shorter for you guys because I put it in two times speed. And this has gotten me absolutely nowhere. So this is a fail on to the next life hack. So this next one, all you need is a sink and an expo marker. Roll the clip. Currently, if you grab a dry erase marker and you drop in the sink and turn on the water slowly, they will float. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's flown. So we're going to be trying that. Let's draw some stuff. So we're gonna start out simple. We gotta let it dry. So quick update, guys. I got a different dry erase marker, a thick one, which is what they used. So one of these is bound to work. So I'll come back in like five minutes, let them dry. Okay, guys. So it's been like twenty minutes. So we're gonna see. It just works. Come on now. Please float. Oh, yo! It's floating! The circle. Yo, it's floating. Oh, I mean, we got one to float, but I'm gonna come back and do it a little bit better next time. Draw a little stick figure, too. Hopefully, this works. And then we'll just draw like a circle and a square. And I don't think it needs to dry either. Cause... So now if I just pour some water on it, hot water. Is it working? Yeah. <gasps> it worked! Yeah. The circle worked. Oh, your stick figure. Is he going? Starting to. Pour, Starting not to. on pour, it, but pour around. some more around it. That one worked. Yeah. Come on, stick figure, come to life. Oh, 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 he's coming. He's trying. There he goes. Come on. Wow, that's kind of cool, yeah. actually. Come on. Head stuck. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. Okay. Success. So this next one is, I know it sounds crazy, but a single stretch exercise, whatever, that will instantly make you jump higher. So we're going to test it and see if it's true. So roll the clip. One exercise that you could do right now, literally where you're sitting, in your room, in class, wherever, you can do it right now and you're gonna instantly jump higher. I want you to test your vertical jump, do this, and then retest your vertical jump and watch the difference. So you're simply just gonna go like this, you're just gonna push up with your knee and you're gonna push down with your hands and you're just gonna feel it right here through your rectus femoris and through your hip flexor. You're gonna push as hard as you can, you're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. And then you're gonna switch, you're gonna do it on this leg, you're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. 
do two sets of 10 seconds each leg, but literally videotape it and watch the difference of how high your hand gets. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna test my vertical jump before, and then I'll show you me doing the stretch, and then we're going to test it after, and then I'm gonna review the footage and see if it worked. I'm about to test my vertical jump before using the exercise. I'm gonna do the exercise, and then we're gonna test again. Ah. Now, we're gonna do the stretch real quick. So what you do, so you bring a leg up and you push against it with your hand and with your thigh. What do you say, 30 seconds? Okay, we did it guys. Did the before, and now it's time to jump again and see if we actually got higher. Okay guys, let's see if it really works. Ah! I don't know if I jumped higher or not. I kind of felt like I did. So I'm gonna review the footage real quick and see if it's true or false, if this actually works. So basically, I'm gonna put a little screenshot, a little collage on the screen right here of the before and the after. And I'll tell you guys what I think after. So after reviewing it, I have come to the decision that this is actually a success. I don't know how, but this works. I don't know if you guys could tell or not from the screenshots I took, but it sure looked like I jumped a little bit higher on the second one. So that is a success. That is actually crazy. I'm gonna start using that, bro. If you want more basketball videos, just comment down below and I'll do it. On to the next life hack. So this next life hack is probably the most viral one. It's where you poke the balloon, you put some tape on it, and then it comes out, it looks like frozen water. Roll the clip. Please. Okay, guys. So, as you can probably see, that looked like a fail, but it did it for a little bit, like 0.1 seconds. So I'm going to give you a little slow-mo real quick of that working. That's the best I got, but it's definitely a success, so on to the next one. So this next one is another really viral one where you cut some chocolate and it makes like an extra piece up here. Roll the clip. Okay guys, so we got our chocolate bar. Oh, it's already... Dang it, bro! It's already cut! You've got to be kidding me, right? Okay, so, basically, you take this, you make a little, like, cut like this. But you, okay, I, I know this is really scuffed, but this chocolate bar was already broken. Like, clearly already broken. Come on, just cut! There we go. So now you should have something looking like this, right? You'll have this big chunk of chocolate. You cut this thing right down the middle there. So there's our one piece we cut off that's extra. So then turn this back around here. So then this just slides down right to there, right? So it looks like a normal chocolate bar, kind of. This comes right here, and you slide this other row that we took off of the other one. Boom, shakalaka. It looks like the same chocolate bar, and we've still got a piece left over. We did it. It was very scuffed, but we did it. But in the end, it turned out to be an entire Hershey's bar, but there's a leftover piece. Now, I know my Hershey's bar looks really, really weird, 
Like, you can see all those cracks and stuff. That's just because, you know, I'm not very good at cutting. It's a success. On to the next one. So this next one, there's this is one of the most viral ones. There's supposedly a little knife at the top of a Nutella can that helps you open it. So, roll the clip. This, but when you buy a brand new Nutella, open it up, flip the lid over. There's actually two linings in here. There's a, a white lining and a silver lining in here. And then when you open up the silver lining, there should be a little knife to open the Nutella. Oh, it's there. Oh, come on, I had it. I got it, I got it. Let's go, big brain Benji. Okay, truth is, is there a knife under here? Are you kidding me? There's no knife, dude. There's no knife. Oh, that's a fail. On to the next one. So for this next one, you just need a water bottle, salt, and I'm using a funnel so I don't spill salt everywhere, but basically you can land a water bottle flip every single time. Roll the clip. Basically, you take a water bottle and you empty it and you get about this much water in there. You put some salt in. Hopefully it doesn't have to be like real salt. I think this is like thick salt. I think I put way too much. See, that would have fallen over. The broken bottle. And I'm not even that good at bottle flipping with the salt. One? See, that was about to fall over. It works, though. It's a success. I'm going to do this again. I need a new water bottle, okay? I need a new water bottle, but I'm going to do this again. And we're going to see how many I can get in a row. We're going to try to see how many we can get in a row. If we mess this up, then we mess it up. One. And two. Three. Four. What is that, five? Six. Seven. You guys didn't see it, but it landed. Eight. Nine. Ten. We already got ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Oh, no. Dude, we had 13. And look at the bottom of this bottle. It is, like, busted, bro. This entire water bottle is busted. To end it, let's do a little trick shot here, okay? Y'all aren't going to see it, but I'm going to just walk away, and I'm going to throw it and land it. You know, it's going to be epic. On to the next one. This next one is a peanut butter hack. If you spin a peanut butter thing, it'll come out all, like, twirly like an ice cream cone. I don't know the exact, like, wording for it, but roll the clip. Okay, so here's our peanut butter. As you can see, it's very not twirly. He sees the peanut butter thing, and he goes crazy. No, you can't have any. So, what we're going to do is, just like the video, we put it down, and apparently we just spin it. I don't think that's how you do it. It's, it's spinning. I mean, I'm not exactly sure. So, yeah, this is a definite fail. I think I just had the wrong peanut butter or something, but as you can see, it clearly did not get any better. So this is a fail. So that's going to do it for today's YouTube video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. This dude still wants peanut butter. And I, he, he wants peanut butter. And tell me what surprised you, what didn't surprise you. And if you have other suggestions for videos or for TikTok hacks, just comment down below.
I might make another one of these if you guys really want. So tell me down below in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. We're on the road to 50 subscribers. Once we hit it, we're doing the room tour. And if you share the channel, give somebody a subscribe. I'll give you a shout out. Also, I'm not going to spoil anything. But at 100 subscribers, we might be doing a giveaway or something. But for right now, peace.